Norfolk Fire and Rescue Service is the only UK fire and rescue service which has the capacity to carry out underwater operations. The County of Norfolk, with its hundreds of square miles of inland waterways, sweeping estuaries, an extensive coastline is an obvious location for an underwater search and recovery dive team. Funded directly by a grant from DEFRA, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, the underwater search and recovery dive team provide a national resilience registered asset as a regional, national and if required international resource. Financial pressure has unfortunately resulted in a significant reduction in the number of available police dive teams. The Norfolk Fire and Rescue Service dive team has a commitment not only to provide high levels of service and expertise, but also to recover its costs as a chargeable service. This self-funded approach will enable reinvestment in equipment and training to continually improve its response capability. Operating under the strict police and commercial diving regulations, the dive team can be requested as a chargeable service for pre-planned diving operations in support of police forces, fire and rescue services, and any agency with a requirement for subservice activity. Such activity can include entrapment in water, drains, gates and fences, submerged vehicles, upturned or submerged craft, confined space, storm drains or sewers for example, protection of critical infrastructure, body retrieval, and crime scene evidence recovery, weapons for example. Having completed the police search team course at the Police National Search Centre, the team can be requested to support police licensed search operations, including counter-terrorism activities, confined spaces and searches at height. It must be stressed that there are currently no means by which any dive team can be deployed for immediate use in live rescues, and Norfolk Fire and Rescue Service dive team is no exception. However, in addition to pre-planned diving operations, the team can be deployed in response to large-scale flooding to provide support to swift water rescue teams. To comply with the Diving at Work Regulations 1997, the dive contractor has responsibility for approving and authorising each diving operation and ensuring that all operations comply with the current regulations and codes of practice. The divers have extensive experience in military and commercial diving operations and are qualified to HSE Part 3 Scuba and Surface Supplied Diving. This enables the divers to operate at depths of up to 50 metres, both inshore and in harbours, ports and estuaries up to 12 nautical miles offshore. The dive attendants are also fully trained swift water rescue technicians, advanced boat operators and rope rescue technicians. Each dive operation requires a dive contractor who usually, from off-site, will grant the necessary authorization for dive operations to commence. The dive supervisor, who will take direct control of on-scene dive operations and have overall responsibility for the safety of the team. Each operational diver will have a similarly equipped standby diver and each diver in turn will have their own dedicated attendant. And a third attendant will operate the Surface Delivery Dive Equipment, or SDDE. The underwater search and rescue teams use Interspiro underwater breathing apparatus with bespoke Interspiro SDDE umbilical system. The diver can operate for between four to six hours depending on physiological and environmental conditions with a continuous air supply provided by cylinders and umbilical hose from the surface. Each diver can operate independently using scuba should the umbilical become damaged or fouled. Backup demand valves and air supply, dive computer, buoyancy wing, weights, knife and head torch all complete the individual diver's equipment. The team can operate from both bankside and afloat with the choice of trailer mounted Pioneer Rigid Rescue Boat or Avon Inflatable Boat. The team also has portable side scanning sonar to assist with subsurface location, a selection of winching and lifting equipment and hydraulic rescue tools which can be used at depths of up to 10 metres. The team can also operate in a self-contained setup from any suitable vessel. The 
The dive vehicle is a compact Mercedes van and incorporates a dive operations cabin containing documentation, dive logs, maps, contact details and a rear equipment stowage area. The team can be requested by contacting Norfolk Fire and Rescue Service Control. Requirement for the team can be pre-empted, for example, Notification by the Met Office of imminent severe weather and or flood warnings will result in the team potentially being placed on standby to reduce response times. Although the underlying trend for deaths by drowning in the UK has taken a downward turn, recent high profile cases have led coroners to question the capability of emergency services to deal with entrapment in water. The Underwater Search and Recovery Dive Unit is a unique capability within the UK Fire and Rescue Services. The team is available by arrangement through the Fire and Rescue Services National Coordination Centre or Norfolk Fire and Rescue Service.